Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I thank my friend from California for his leadership. I rise today in opposition to H.R. 910. Uh, my, my friend, Mr. Blumenauer, made the point that uh, there's a deliberate misleading title to this bill to somehow allow cynically voters to believe that this is about taxes. And I think, and I had an amendment in the, before the rule that unfortunately was not accepted, how about we be intellectually honest about this? Let's rename the bill the Koch Brothers Appreciation Act of 2011. At least then we could clear the air and be honest. But then again, that's what this bill is all about, not clearing the air, but ensuring that it stays polluted. Today, sadly, the other party will attempt to pass a bill that denies decades of science in order to protect the profits of a few favored corporations. Next, we may hear that the claims that the earth indeed is flat. When Congress passed the Clean Air Act in 1970, it directed the EPA to protect public health and welfare from pollution that would alter weather and climate 40 years ago. In the last 40 years, hundreds of peer-reviewed scientific papers have found global warming is caused by humans, is becoming worse, and poses a dire threat to our public health, national security, and economic vitality. This bill makes Congress the final arbiter of science. That is a perilous path, Mr. Chairman, to go down, and it repudiates a hundred years of bipartisan efforts to craft public health legislation according to science. Not since the Scopes trial has a division of government waged such an outlandish assault on science. With H.R. 910, Republicans sadly have aligned themselves with that school board in Tennessee and with the Pope who excommunicated Galileo. I yield back my time to the distinguished ranking minority member of the Energy and Commerce Committee. Gentleman yields back his time. Gentleman